Hey, what's up, douchebags? This is Dan from The Witches, and you're listening to Hello Bands. Keep calm. There is no alternative. Yeah. Hello Bands radio show features new music, emerging artists, unsigned acts, plus band interviews. Honestly, I'd rather listen to my computer's exhaust fan. Now, say hello to the bands this week. Yo, what's up? This is Mike B. We're on Hello Radio. We Hello, are radio. with the Death Valley Girls. What's up? Hi. Hello. Doing all right? Yeah. Want to just give a shout out? Say your name. Say your particular instrument that you like to play. Death Valley Girls. Bonnie. Guitar. <laughs> organ. Vocals. Larry. Guitar. Laura. Drums. Alana. Good. Uh, well, no, I play bass. <laughs> Vocals. <laughs> 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 all right. So, you guys doing all right so far? You, you guys heading out to Europe after this particular show? Yeah, this is the most fun tour ever. Ever? Yeah. Or are you just saying that? No, since since man invented tour, I believe <laughs> it was 1890 or so. This has gone down in history as the best tour ever. Okay, fair enough. So, um, I'm totally in. Where do I sign up for the Cosmic Underground? Oh, we can discuss that afterwards. Do I get like a little special ID card and stuff? Yeah, yeah, totally. A little laminate thing? I yeah. Can All right, cool. So We've been trying to like focus more on the tenants of uh, the Cosmic Underground. Um, for those that don't know what that is, what is it? Well, we have a collective and not everyone can be in the band, but we have, everyone can be in the Cosmic Underground, our collective, and that's... You know, past, present, and future friends. Um, but the main tenant we're focusing on right now is optimisticism. Um, so we're, we're working hard to achieve that in our own personal lives. Um, <laughs> starting, you know, I, we think about it a lot every day. We read a lot about uh, it doesn't exist, so it's hard to read about it. That was a lie. We can go on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, too, you guys uh, tour a lot, it seems like. Yeah. Do you guys take breaks? And if you do, like, what the hell do you do on your breaks? Just write uh, songs and get ready for the next tour? Yeah, we don't, like, <laughs> downtime. So if no we're days not off. Yeah, no days off. So if we're not touring, we're writing or, or uh, um, yeah, getting ready for the next tour. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is Burger Records, are they just, like, whipping you guys or what? Are they what? Are they like whipping you guys or like what? <laughs> yeah. I wish. <laughs> I'd like to get whipped more. It seems like all we we just have to whip ourselves. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just our friend being nice, but we need we need people to put us in line, just uh, injure us bodily. Uh, yeah. You know, there's no progress without uh, pain. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, we don't, you guys yeah. cool with that? I I would totally agree with that. <laughs> it's absolutely accurate. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys is um, your last one glow album glow in the dark. Uh, did you guys how quickly was that to you know because it was a little while before your other album? How quickly did you guys write that and record it and all that? We wrote it and recorded it in two days. Two days. To my knowledge. <laughs> you wrote it and recorded it in two days. Well, we wrote it during the recording process. Wow. Yeah. To the best of my knowledge, Alana was there. What is she that? cracked the whip. I've never seen one of those. <laughs> wow, cool. She's from the future. She's I a know. time traveler. She must be. That We've is been waiting cool. years to find a time traveler. Forget the candy cigarettes, right? That's just that's cool. Forget them. I don't even smoke, and behind. I want to now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, does your eyes album uh, does it really glow in the dark? Yeah, it does. It does. A limited there, yeah. amount do. Yeah, there was a very limited amount. There's glow in the dark ones. Do you have to be in the cosmic underground to be able to get your hands on it, or? <laughs> no, we don't even have any, so it's yeah. not. It's not. It's it's not like that. Yeah. There's, There's 250 copies that sold out uh, immediately, and we didn't get our our filthy paws on any mm -hmm. of them. But you can find them, particularly in the EU. EU? eBay. EU. Yeah. eBay. Yeah. On the eBay of the EU, yeah. there's like a plenty. But there's and there's there's green ones. The green and ones black and black ones. ones, and then there's other ones that are 
super limited that were hand decorated. But those uh, are by gone. you? Yeah. Hand decorated. Uh, yes, blood, sweat, and tears went into literally those. Literally tears. Mm-hmm. Many, many tears went into the making of those. So that basically they can take the record, kill somebody, murder them, then you guys will be tried because it's your guys' DNA is all over it. We'll always yeah. be so. tried, you, no matter what. Just like, you know. <laughs> Actually, I, I shouldn't get into that. This is I forgot this is being recorded. Yeah, it's being recorded. But Next question, please. <laughs> so, all right, let's just take a break real quick. How about that? What do you mean? We're going to take a break. How do we do that? Oh, sorry. I get it. This is Fall Pretend. <laughs> we're yes. sleeping right now. Since we're talking about Glow in the Dark, let's play that track, all right? Okay. Perfect. Cool. We'll play Glow in the Dark, and we'll be back be with careful. Death Valley Girls. You might die. We're back with the Death Valley Girls from London on Hello Radio. And uh, go ahead and say something since you haven't said anything yet. Hello. All right, perfect. (laughs) United Kingdom. So a lot of, uh, especially over the last 18 months, there's been a lot of uh, monumental musicians that have been gone, you know, between David Bowie and, oh, she needs, like, I need the microphone. Prince and, of course, just recently Chris Cornell, which my personal opinion, I think he has, he's like the Robert Plant of, like, of our generation, in my opinion. I think he, he just has that voice, and it's like, you can sing a freaking lullaby, and you're like, oh, it's, <laughs> it rocks, you know? But um, my point is, uh, what, what do you guys have any thoughts on that? Or I mean, what, what the heck's going on? It just seems like all of a sudden. <laughs> you got something? Uh. I have thoughts on that. I think people die all the time. Yeah. Keeps happening. True. Keeps happening. Um, it like, was you're a gonna very die hard tonight. year, but <laughs> I think it's important to focus on the people who are still around, celebrate the ones that passed. But there's, you know, I think every year it became, I kept laughing because it was like 2016, when is it going to end? And it was like, when it ends. That's true. Yeah. You're right. You know, and a lot of people passed away, but Chuck Perry, di- Chuck Perry died yeah. in 2017. People died. That's the end of that great era. No, you're right. I mean, yeah, people act like they're all like 25 years old still. But. There was just, it was a really incredible time in, in uh, American pop culture, well, in the world. Yeah. And now we're entering another one. Yeah. Fair enough. Exactly. Perfect. 
Also, we don't believe in death. So, immortality or life after death? Well, if you don't leave after... Wait, so what do you believe then? Well, it's not shocking that people die. No, 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 no. You said we don't. You said you don't believe in death. Yeah, we celebrate life, but uh, life obviously is the shortest amount of time anyone does anything. This universe has been around for billions of years. This universe isn't even. There's so many things that are older and longer, and if we've only been here like 80 years, I know. It's ridiculous to assume that. Ah, uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't believe. I believe that. I believe this is just a. a blip on the screen is that uh, how they yeah say? i know what you mean yeah, yeah yeah and it's cool we got to be alive in probably the most exciting to me personally i hope you too the most exciting time of all where we got to know all of this music i don't know where music is headed it's none of my business i don't care i just like rock and roll i'm gonna keep on paying attention to it but mm. we got to be alive now and we'll see our friends later in the sky it's okay, okay. Speaking of now then, so who are some uh, people you're digging now? Besides, uh, we talked about the Coat Hangers a minute ago, but who, who are some other uh, bands that you're into right now? Are you guys? Coat Hangers, L.A. Witch, LA Escapism. Witch, yeah. They played here a couple months ago. Um, Feels, Dirty Burger, Shivas, 100% Jeez. the Shivas. Actually, let's, let's the Shivas. Yeah. That's Frankie all that matters. Okay. Frankie and the Witch Fingers. Frankie. Yeah. Shivas, so Frankie and the Witch Fingers. just on you naming bands that are yeah. really good. Just do that. The I Keep think it, if anything, XX, Shivas, the Shivas, Code Hangers, Code Hangers, hangers Chain the Gang, Frankie and the Witch Fingers, Chain of the Gang, or Escapism depends <laughs> what your mood is. Depends what you get to see. Um, I gotta say priest. I gotta say priest. priest. What? What's up? Priest. What's up? Drinky flowers. Feels. Moaning. Moaning. Lay cause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Kate LeBond. What? Oh yeah, Kate LeBond. Yeah, she's. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. me buddies. Okay, I think I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. All right. Um, you guys, uh, you guys. Uh, well, since you're the only really, you guys all live in California, right? Or do you guys live separately? I guess no. We live separately. So well, you're the, so you like in and out. Okay, well, how do you order yours? What's your what's your deal? What's your specialty? Uh, I get a, I get a grilled cheese uh, with grilled onions. I, you know, honestly, I, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with this question <laughs> because people are so so sensitive to like their vegetable eating and their meat eating that I'm lying to you right now. I want I want to lie to you, and I don't like lying. Just so tell me, what do you eat there? Come on. You get French fries and eat them in your milkshake. Uh, what do you? No, I just don't where? feel like promoting oh, meat, you even though like I'm meat? a meat eatist. I don't. I don't think you should promote meat or cigarettes or drugs. Sorry. Just rock and roll only. Yeah, I love hamburgers. I love nachos, but <laughs> why would anybody care? Uh, I care. That's why I'm asking it. Oh. Because I love In-N-Out. I always well, how do you get I it? I have actually uh, like never eaten really? In-N-Out burger proper. I've had somebody gave me a vegetarian In-N-Out burger, which I, which I thought was a veggie burger, but yeah, it, yeah there was no bur there was no patty. It's it was good. How do you get it? I gotta say. Let's just get down to brass tacks here. Uh, I just get a regular one, no cheese, uh, animal style. Yeah. Two just of them. Like my sister. Two singles. Just I don't like, like the double my double. Sister. They put too much cheese on that thing. So I digress. Okay, so uh, O.J. Simpson's guilty or not guilty? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not guilty. Obviously. Yeah, seriously. So speaking of uh, think about it though. Seriously, the uh, how <laughs> how is it? Oh wait, never mind. But he he might have had something to do with the John Benet Ramsey thing. Yeah, it That's probably is related. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna somehow get it, get him on yeah. that. I think. Yeah. yeah. Same. He's in jail anyway, so who cares, right? So speaking of drinking, what's your favorite drink? Tequila. OJ Water. and be like OJ. Oh, nah. Water, come on. <laughs> really? That's your favorite? Really yeah, good boy, for I imagine you. that. Well, I mean, not imagine. It is good for you, but let's just say you don't have water. Okay, what are you gonna go with? Like alcohol drink Anything. Or what soda? You, what's your go to? I like thing, ginger. Oh. I like yeah, milk. Milk, yes. Hey. I like yes. I like the milk. Iced tea. Like, you don't like milk? 
I like coffee and tequila. I drink those exclusively. Wait a minute. Like together or separate? No, separately. Okay, but I don't good. drink any other liquid. One's oh, the night coffee. drink and one's the morning drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, what is it? Just water? I, drink, I just drink Depends. coffee and tequila. I try to wait to drink tequila, for, but I only like, I only drink coffee and tequila. I don't see the use of other liquids. Do you, you got any horrible stories then from... I think I'm the tequila? vision of health. I'm too much coffee. I'm too much coffee. So you have any crazy stories of having too much tequila and coffee? No. No, nothing. Not really. Anybody over here? You guys got any stories? No. Nothing good. Nothing no. to share. One time I like <laughs> <laughs> drank so much. Oh, you guys speak a little closer. And I like. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I was like, I took this bulldozer <laughs> and I drove it through nice. Central Park. No, I. You know, we've Take all. A moment. Been there and back. Yeah, we're back though. And we're back. <laughs> we're all back. And Perfect. that's what's important. Those horror stories are a dime yeah, a dozen. Speaking of horror stories, you guys like horror movies? Oh boy, do we. So yes. What are some uh, you guys like? What's your favorite particular either titles or genres? Or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The, the old school one? Yeah, the old school. Yeah, definitely n- none of the, hardly any remakes of any of the, yeah. the horror movies I are mean, worth yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. We like all the 70s stuff. Cage, 70s. Yeah. Stuff. Face off. Face off rules. No, that was a horror movie because it was so bad. <laughs> well, that's one of my favorite movies. I don't like it. Sorry. That should be a genre of horror movies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's some that are really bad, though, that you're just like, I think they're intentional, obviously, but yeah. the B movies. I like, I like uh, Get Out. No. No, I haven't seen that one. Get Out? Really what is that? It's a movie? recent horror movie, right? Oh, yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, horror yeah. movies are our favorite. It, um, but if I had to have a subdivision of favorite, it would be dystopian dystopian mm-hmm. sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's my area of interest. But, I, oh boy, do I like a scary movie. Right on. So speaking of horror movies, let's play horror movies. All right. You want to do it? Yeah. Is that a game? Yeah. No. Is that a game? It's the name of your song on your oh. album.
Hello, we're Pins, and you're listening to Hello Radio. Last part here, we're going to just do a little trivia, okay? okay. Uh, you guys good at trivia? Since you guys want to play a game. Yeah. So that's about the best I can, I can do right now. Sorry, I don't have Monopoly like in my back pocket or anything. Trivia. So uh, let's get six questions, just random. It could be history, movies, geography, whatever, okay? Totally random. Okay. Okay? What's the lowest... This is a geography question. The lowest elevation in the United States. Death Valley! <laughs> See where I'm going with this? <laughs> no. Death Valley, ah. yes. No idea, right? <laughs> Who's the last president that was from California? Death Valley! Correct. <laughs> two for two. You know who it is? The Ronald president. Reagan! Yes, that is right. Ronald Reagan. Reagan. Uh, Are there other presidents from California? <laughs> I don't know. I was just asking for the last one. <laughs> I'm sure there was. Keep going. This game is fun. <laughs> Closest galaxy... To Earth, not counting obviously the one we're in. Death Valley. No, that's, I, what that's what we're in. Um, it's a, uh, it's, uh, I know. Fuck. Oh, is it? Fuck. I don't know. That's that's further. That's further yeah. than this one. Um, what's it called? Shit. Twenty two F eight nine. I was really, gonna say really that. Really that's not really. It. No, it's not. It's as soon as. It's, come on, you got time. Uh, think, think, think. I'm gonna look what it up. On it? Andromeda. Oh. oh. Like the Andromeda strain. No. Yes, like the Andromeda strain. Yeah, perfect. Well. Okay. I, I apologize, Andromeda. That is uh, very embarrassing. I thought you would know it, but it's okay. I know. We should. Two I for hate three. myself. Two for three. Okay. There's a movie back in the 90s. It had Alicia Silverstone in it, and it had, um, what's the name? Crush. Crush. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> she played uh, Cher. Not Cher. The, the Crush. Singer. But she played a her character was named was Cher, and um, there was and there was another girl in it. Aerosmith. Clueless. Clueless. That's it. Uh, Are you reading the paper? No, no. <laughs> He's like, yep. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, he can't see. Next, next He's question. He's a driver, in, but he can't see. <laughs> Not here, but in America. Okay. Name of the what's the name of the last Coat Hangers album? Oh, uh, Nosebleed. Weekend. Weekend. Yep, yep. Give you credit. Technically, actually, they came out Parasite, <laughs> but. That's what uh, sports people do. When they get home <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, speaking of sports, okay, yeah. perfect. Baseball. Yeah, I was, well, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay. All right. What team does Clayton Kershaw play for? Well, I will just tell you that we are not Dodgers fans. However, Clayton Kershaw is one of the best pitchers, and he is one of the hottest pitchers. And you I think, he's think hot? him. He looks like a werewolf. He does. He, he is sure so does. hot. He's the hottest pitcher aside, obviously. From poor, 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 poor Tim Lincecum, who I guess is not even playing this nah, year. Yeah, but I'm a Giants done. fan and I'm a Mets fan, so I will not pander to your Dodgers love just I because we're from I Los Angeles. I'm an A's fan, so I really? don't. Really? Yeah, I'm an A's That's fan. That's my favorite American League team aside I, I, from the, the Tigers. I like the Giants too, so I I go for them when the A's aren't. You know, double down on that. Right. Well, I really opened up a can there. You got yeah, talk you about got baseball. really close to wow. maybe making a mistake. Wow, yeah. really so, close mm -hmm. to maybe making a mistake. But Clayton Kershaw, you cannot deny it. He's also an animal lover. His wife and him save animals and spend like so much money every year, like on animal shelters and things. They're very Christian, and that's fine. Do you know what every a stalker is? What? Do you know what a stalker is? St a stalker, somebody that stalks somebody. Yeah. That, that's you right now with Clayton Kershaw. No. Uh, she's, she's like outside his window. Like the that's on the back of the baseball card. No, yeah. I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time. I know. No, I do you. stalk people, but not him. There's something. I used to be on a club. Tin Lincecum? I definitely You would probably, stalk right? We cut his hair, though. Yeah. I don't like that. I like no, no, the, no. the long hair. I know, and that's what's so interesting about that is that there was, uh, in Vietnam, they sent out Native Americans because they had, like, there's all these different things we don't know about, but they had psychic, uh, they had psychic abilities, especially in forests and things like that situations. And to, uh, they proved all this stuff that they could have, figure all these things out. Then they cut their hair to have it regulation. And then they lost all their psychic abilities. So I believe that Tim Lincecum is just suffering from, they put too much weight on him. First of all, he gained like 40 pounds or so, I think. And he was still like a buck 20. But they cut his hair. And I think that that's why he lost his game. I think that's it. So it on that be. note, Timmy, if you're listening, Thank you. I love you. You're the most coolest pitcher and the most coolest person for kids to look up to in baseball, man, since the 80s. Since the 80s, Mets. 
That's all. All right, perfect. All right, anything else to say so you can get the new? Uh, Thank you for being nice to us. Glow in the dark album. Uh, what you, is it? Do you guys just have the band camp site? Do you guys have a full? Yeah, we got it? everything you need. So shout out. Where can they get yeah. it? Yeah. And there's, there's a there's a new physical. song I, coming out. Oh yeah, there's a new song coming on on Volcom uh next monday i don't know what day today is but we have a new song coming out and right now we're recording a new record and you can't get our record anywhere except from us on uh, on tour because they're all sold out in the whole wide world so that or you so can buy it on you. ebay go it's see them spotify, spotify spotify and oh. also you could get it on itunes uh yeah of course. so you Any can give days. money to our friends perfect because yeah. our friends like money <laughs> we don't all right Death Valley Girls. You guys want to put on one more track before we go? What's on your oh. shirt there? The Rebel. It looks like Rebel um, Rouser. yeah, the shirt they did something. Didn't they take that from something? No, it's an artist named Avi Spivak, one of my personal Avi. favorites. Okay. So you guys want to put on a track? What, okay. Which one? It could be one of your older ones too. That's fine. Or it can be somebody else. Say so not you. Let's you put know. on a track. You choose. I don't care. Whatever you want. How about Pink Radiation? Okay. <laughs> you didn't sound very, you're like, well, I didn't want to do that. Oh, one. I love that song. Okay, we'll do it. Um, Death Valley Girls. Thank you so much, Mister. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye forever.
on button somewhere. Hey, we have an app for that. Now available, the Hello Radio app from the Apple App Store. Press the Apple thing. Just search Hello Radio or visit our website, helloradio.live. And click on the Apple icon at the top of the screen. No, sir. I'm an Android. If you prefer Android, then it is there too. It's, it's awesome. Yes, it's awesome. We absolutely love it. Yeah. So, so go, go for it, for it and get, get the, the free, free Hello, Hello Radio, Radio app now. now.